So I'd replaced the screen and uh, I'm just going to power it up now. Just to show that it actually works. And I uh, can't show you this part. Okay, and the screen works. It's a beautiful uh, uh, thing. Everything works here. The best way to actually test the, uh, I found that the best way to test to make sure that the digitizer is working properly is to play this game. And the reason for this particular game is because this game will force you, well not force you, but it has all of the moves necessary, okay, uh, which would be on the screen. So I'll just wait for it to load up a second. It's a great game, but incidentally, a uh, lot of foot. Uh, if you want to keep your brain nice and sharp. So each one of these blocks, obviously, is going to be in a different position. So that's a perfect, um, uh, a perfect way of testing to make sure that the digitizer is working correctly. Uh, Uh, let's see. Get this guy out of here. Okay. Well. Hmm. Okay, we gotta get this guy over there. Well, you know what? I'm not gonna play the game. I'm not gonna... Uh, the purpose of this was just to show that everything in every position will actually uh, work. Okay? So, so much of that. The other thing is, okay, the home button does, does not sometimes work. Okay, and right now, of course, uh, because this is a demo, it's not working, but I did activate the gestures, so we can just go back to our home screen that way. Uh, to show the, uh, I want to show you. Oh, <laughs> the home button just worked there for a second. Okay, uh, I'm going to go into settings just so you could see what. Um, okay, and okay, have gestures is on, and that's why I was able to do the the pinch to go home. Uh, where is the about about? Okay, and here is the about. Now you'll notice that the uh, the serial number again. The serial number will not be the one that's on the back cover because I replaced the back cover. Uh, I replaced the back cover again because it was bent. Okay, I have a rotor rotate on. Uh, you heard the sound, so the sound works. Uh, let's go back to. Okay, let's go back to the camera. Okay. Uh, it's. Mm, Okay, I believe that, again, one of the connectors inside, I guess that that's part of the problem. So whatever connector is inside, one of them I did not slide in and lock into place very well, and that's why I can't get it to go back on. All right, uh, so basically that's it. If you're handy with this thing, if you're a technician, or even if you want to do what I did, you know, I spent, well, I spent, uh, I spent a lot of money on it, but, uh, you know, with parts and stuff, I, re I, I, not only did I replace the screen, I also replaced the, uh, the bezel here, you can see it, you can see it right there, and if you want to, if you're handy, like I said, if you want to do a little experimentation, take this thing apart, figure out what I did wrong, and I would really appreciate if you write back to me and let me know how you got it going again. All right, thanks, and good luck. Here is the uh, iPad that I have listed. What I did is I replaced the, uh, the glass because it was cracked, and I also replaced the, uh, the back. So the serial number shown here is not going to be the serial number that is actually, because this, this, this case is from someplace else. Uh, I actually ordered it, and it came from... Uh, China, or as other people, or at least one person I know, likes to pronounce it, China. So anyway, so this, and here is the, uh, the picture. All right, there's the actual serial number. And 
this is the original back okay and it's got my cell number on there because uh, Apple was running a promo when I first bought this uh, several years ago where they would do uh, engraving for free so this is the 64 gig version okay so what, why am I selling it what's the problem with it well a couple of things the I replaced the case because <clears throat> the corners were bent when on, on, the, on that one the corners were bent when uh, when it was dropped so the top would never fit properly so uh, this is actually the third glass that I'm um, that I installed on it okay turn this back on okay and okay well you see one of the problems sporadically it just shut itself off all right and it's not going to go back in back on rather unless I plug it into the uh, plug this into the wall unit the charger now not in not in the you know not, not not in the USB port but actually a wall charger so once that gets plugged into wall charger it'll reset again okay so here you see that it's still off uh, I'm just gonna plug it in okay it's plugged in and now the Apple logo should be coming up and there it goes.